School safety is top of mind for a lot of parents as the kids return to the classroom this week. And 10 News is your back to school authority working for you to break down the most recent state reports available which document student safety incidents. 10 News anchor Rachel Lucas has been pouring over pages of that. Highlights of some of the biggest concerns in the Roanoke zone from the 2021-22 school year. The student behavior and administrative response collection reports gives us a look at the number and types of incidents happening in each school. Every school division in Virginia is required by state code to submit these annual reports for Virginia's school quality profile. And today, I'm going to give you a look at what I found in our Roanoke zone here. I'm going to show you the number of incidents reported in one of the more severe categories, behaviors to determine persistently dangerous schools. This category is for illegal activity that would require police reporting. Roanoke City had the highest number of reports in this zone. Eight total incidents, two at William Fleming High for illegal possession of a handgun, one at Patrick Henry High for illegal possession of any other projectile weapon, one at Westside Elementary and Lucy Addison Middle for illegal possession of a handgun, one at John P. Fishwick Middle and Breckenridge Middle for illegal possession of a projectile weapon, and one at Wasina Elementary for sexual assault. Three incidents were reported in Salem, two at Salem High School and one at Andrew Lewis Middle School for illegal possession of firearms. While no incidents in this category were reported in Botetourt, Franklin or Roanoke County, there were hundreds of reports of incidents in other safety categories, including behaviors of endangering self or others, safety concern and relationship behaviors. The majority of these require no police reporting. To see your school's report card and the safety incidents at your school, go to WSLS.com. There we've compiled a breakdown for all of our local school districts and links to the state's original reports. In studio, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.